All right, guys, welcome back. This is another episode of the favorite boy, Nee DIY. And today I'm going to show you what to do if you have a code P0320, which essentially is a low battery voltage condition code. It, is, it especially occurs when you're driving a hybrid pack or a hybrid vehicle. So right now I'm going to crank up the vehicle. And there you see all the systems ready. Right now the code is not showing. But we're going to give it a test ride and then when you see the code, I'm going to show you what next to do. Alright guys, keep watching. Before we get into the video, can you click the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment and also share this video. Also don't forget to click the notification icon so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. And also don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is your boy, Nee DIY. Alright guys, let's get into the video. So right now we got the vehicle started up. We're gonna take it for a ride. I disengage my brake. I put it in the river. I get out of the, uh, the driveway and I get on the freeway or on the road. All right, guys, keep watching. I normally notice the uh, the code whenever I drive the vehicle. Uh, maybe I drive for a minute and then the code just pops up. And I like to throw a disclaimer out there. This is not uh, fix it uh, or repair for your if you have this code on a vehicle i would suggest you take your vehicle to a qualified service personnel to get it checked up and get it fixed uh, this is just a temporary fix just in case you get stuck on the freeway or on the highway if you're driving and then for any, whatever the reason is the code pops up so we're trying to drive right now see if we're going to get the code that's the energy monitor i keep it I keep the vehicle uh, dashboard, I mean, uh, the display for the navigation system on the energy monitor so I can get uh, the exact voltage, you know, and how, you know, how the battery is charging and all that. Uh, so I can be in the know as I'm driving. So in case I have any problem, any code, any issue, I'll be able to easily decipher or trim down uh, to the likely culprits or whatever could cause it. So right now we're still driving. And the code hasn't popped up. We're just gonna keep the vehicle to heat up a bit, and then when the battery gets heated up, then it's gonna pop up. This process is not the in it, the in all, be all, or the fix all. It's just a temporary measure for you to get out of uh, dicey situations. You could be on the road, you could be in the middle of traffic on the way, and then you just get that code. You get your instrument cluster show you that you need to check the. Uh, the hybrid system, you know, for a, a default reading on your instrument cluster, uh, you could just do this real quick and then get off the road. And then you could be able, even if you do it very well, you might be able to navigate yourself and get back home, you know, so you could save on time. Uh, also, kind of uh, causing impediment or impairment to fellow road users. Also, you save on tow. And then you'll be able to know that you also save your car so you don't get to leave it somewhere and dump it and forget about it. And then, uh, for whatever the reason, uh, the cops or the local council authorities just put a sticker on it. You know, you might not even know that they got a sticker on it for them to go take it to the impound or something. And if you leave it there for too long, you might never see your vehicle again. It's just a temporary fix, so you can get out of easy. Uh, I mean, you can get out, can get out easily of uh, difficult situations that could uh, really be very demanding and tasking. This is just a knowledge that i got you know i've been driving my hybrid so you'll be able to figure out one or two things about the system uh, because the more you know about the system you drive about it then you'll be able to figure out like easy shortcuts or hacks that could enable you to get out of uh, difficult situations essentially you want to make sure that you get your vehicle to a safe location especially if you have a house you know you take it to a parking lot your driveway or something that way you're sure you can put it there you know park it there and then whenever you get the time, the money, the resources, the energy, then you go back and, you know, make sure you get your car in proper uh, uh, working order. So right now we're still driving. The code hasn't popped up yet. Just waiting for the code. All right, guys. So now we've got the code. You can hear the fan blowing. You just use a code reader. You read the code. And you go to exit. No code in there. Uh, you see this piece things, okay? Then you go enter previous. Then you go to uh, erase code. 
I hope you can hear the fan at the background. Once you click the race code, the fan goes off and the light blows off. And that way you can enjoy the drive, uh, depending when it comes back up again. So right now I'm driving. Uh, I didn't have to stop because that could essentially would have made you get to an extent where you can't accelerate no more. Uh, but because I, I got this hack, supposedly, try to figure it out, figure it out myself, uh, I'm able to keep on driving. I'm kind of uh, maybe some miles away from my house right now, so I'll be able to ride back home safely. I don't have to uh, park the car by the side of the road or kind of stop right in the middle of the road because the code just pops up on you and the, back, the car might just lose power immediately. And once you lose power immediately, if you're not in motion, where if you're in motion, you could have stayed, maybe, you know, depending on the, the remaining of the acceleration that the vehicle has left, it just stay to a safe location. But if you're not in motion, it just stopped and the code pops up on you, then you just be able to do this measure. You get it back up. You don't have to necessarily come out of the vehicle. Uh, you keep on driving, you keep on enjoying your ride. Uh, but essentially, you just make sure that you're very observant and paying close attention to your instrument cluster so that whenever you get a po uh, notification of this code coming up or popping up on the instrument cluster, then you'll be able to do this uh, hack. Uh, essentially, the hack just involves you putting in an uh, OBD2 scanner into the OBD2 uh, port of the vehicle. So essentially, this is my OBD2 scanner hooked up to the OBD2 port of the vehicle right underneath the dashboard on the driver's side. Then whenever you get this notification, you come, you see the check VSC system, hybrid system needs to be checked and all that. Right on your OBD2 uh, scanner, you just uh, scroll down to the erase button. You click on erase. On the background, you can hear the fan, uh, the vehicle fan popping up. You just you say erase uh, trouble code. Are you sure? You say yeah. Once you click yes, erase done. The race is erased from the instrument cluster as well as the, the fan stops at the background. All right, guys, hope this has been able to help you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment, kindly share this vi video, click the like button, also click the notification icon so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. And also, don't forget to kindly click the subscribe button. We're trying to build this channel up to 1 million views, 1 million subscribers. Once again, this is your boy, Nee DIY. And right now, we just showed the code, uh, the hack of the code of the P03020 uh, on a 2007 Toyota Camry hybrid. Uh, whenever you get that code notification on your vehicle, most especially on our hybrid system, it just shows you that essentially you have an issue with your hybrid power pack, uh, the hybrid pack itself. Uh, uh, right behind the passenger seat of the vehicle. So essentially that's where you're gonna go and you know if you have to do you know further repairs but essentially once that code comes up it shows you your hybrid system needs to be changed. Also it could be a significant signification of your speed sensor for the ignition, the crankshaft position or the damage reluctor ring. Anything whatever it is before you do further diagnosis this is just a temporary hack so you could get off the road get to a convenient safe place safe location uh, because some people try to change their tires on the freeway it, it's been it's proven fertile to some people they, they lost their lives if you stop your vehicle right on the middle of the road because uh, the vehicle stopped without your control or whatever you know due to mechanical fault uh, it might also jeopardize your life so you need to you know things like this could be very helpful uh, so that you can get out of arms way and get to a safe look uh, safe location where you can just park your vehicle and then uh, you know see what further diagnosis or uh, repairs or replacement or mechanical work you might execute on it or if you need to get it sold but you know with this way i'm on the road it stopped i can still drive home safely com confidently and comfortably and uh, it gets me to the road gets me to my location gets me to my house I i'll be able to park it all right where i need to park it uh, and then uh, lay down fix on the vehicle uh, so the next thing to do once you you know been able to temporarily do you know apply this measure is just to you know you know change the part the hybrid power pack or you just uh, you know change the complete replacement of the whole entire unit it's more than like fifteen hundred dollars or more or you just uh, go in there if you know how to do it like i do i know how to do it you just go in and see the 40 modules or cells uh, unit within the hybrid power pack i think it's for an hybrid uh, Toyota is, has about 32 or something like that. Uh, is it prowls? I got like 28. So individual cells or modules, uh, you got a tire two in there. Uh, you'll be able to, you know, use a voltmeter and check the voltage on each one of them. Make sure they're nothing less than 7. Point something, 7.8 ideally. Uh, and then that way you'll be able to replace uh, which one of them is lower. The lower one, you just replace it out. 
uh, because you need to have an almost even voltage across all entire power pack you know they are arranged you know right next to each other like parallel and then they connected uh, that same way either parallel or series connection but essentially it's just to ensure that uh, you know those individual cells are all connected into one uh, giant ba uh, battery power pack cell and then it's able to power up the vehicle all right guys kind of click the like button once again click the notification icon so you can net get notified whenever we upload new videos leave a comment share this video and don't forget to subscribe once again this is your boy Nee diy click also also click the notification icon so you can get notified whenever whenever i upload new videos we're trying to build this channel up this station uh, this uh youtube channel up uh, one million views one million subscribers call your friends your family your foes your neighbors your colleagues anybody you know got this issue or you know has any potential uh issue that might you know kind of hamper their day to do activities uh, you might find one of these videos on this channel very useful educative and entertaining and uh, informative also and a disclaimer out there kindly refer uh service to qualify service service personnel this just for you know information and ed education purposes all right guys see you in the next one do have a nice day stay prayed up stay blessed up stay safe uh stay comfortable and stay focused see you in the next one it's your boy, Need DIY. Bye for now. See you in the next one. Peace.